Hey, what's up everybody? I'm excited to show you today one of my very most favorite time-saving editing hacks. If you already knew this tip, brag about it in the comments, and if you didn't know, let me know how much you appreciate me showing you this amazing time-saving tip. Okay, let's say I've had to live with these yellow lines as my road center lines for a really long time. Who knows why they're like that? Maybe somebody digitized them at a small scale. Maybe they were just lazy. Maybe they drove too fast with a GPS in the truck. Who knows why they're that way? Maybe they're even tiger line data. Doesn't matter how they're that way or why they're that way. We just don't like them. And we've got new line work from somebody. I don't know where we got it, but we've got new purple. This purple line is the new line work and it's been digitized really well. And we want to replace that yellow line with the purple line. Now there's lots of ways you could do this, and they're all valid ways to do it, but my way is the best way, and, and that's just the way it is. If you disagree, let me know. We could retrace it using the reshape tool and tracing that purple line, way too much work, and that yellow line crisscrosses the purple one, so that's gonna foul us up. We could copy that purple line and paste it into the yellow one, but then we have to deal with attributes. I just want the yellow line to become the purple line. The best way to do that is with the Replace Geometry tool. And that's in the Modify Features pane. And if you don't have the Modify Features pane open, you get to it by going to the Edit tab and clicking on Modify. And that will open up the Modify Features pane. The Replace Geometry tool is in the Reshape group. It's right here, or you could always search for it. When you fire up Replace Geometry, it wants you to make a selection because it works on a selection. So it activates this Select a Feature tool and you can use any of the selection tools. I'm just going to use the Rectangular Selection tool. So I have my crappy yellow line selected. Now it gives me the Replace Line tool or the Replace Freehand tool. And I could just sketch something. I could use the trace and try to trace the purple one. but I. I don't want to do that. I just want to replace the yellow with the purple. I'll zoom in, right click on the good purple line, and hit this replace sketch button. But something weird happened, and I did this on purpose just to show you one of the gotchas with this tool. If I zoom out, you see my sketch is actually the park boundary. So it grabbed that because it's here in my map. Even though the park boundary layer is at the bottom, it still grabbed that feature to replace the sketch. I'm not sure what logic it uses to grab the features, even though I right-clicked on that line and it's above the park boundary, it still grabbed the park boundary. If you have a large polygon layer that encompasses the thing you're trying to replace, you're going to have to turn that layer off. So I'm going to hit this X button, turn off my park boundary, Zoom back in, use my Replace Line tool, right-click, Replace Sketch. Now I've got the good purple line. I hit the green check mark. Now my yellow line is the same as the purple line. That thing saves me a ton of time. That is one of my favorite little tricks in editing to replace crappy features with better ones. And it, it really only works on a one-off type situation. You can't, I mean, I guess you could do it one at a time if you had a lot of better features, but I'm sure there are better ways to do it in mass. So, and it also works with polygons. If I zoom in here, I've got my crappy yellow building that some lazy person digitized and they didn't even use right angles to digitize it. I'm going to select my crappy one and then use the Replace Polygon tool that activates on its own. Right-click on my good polygon, Replace Sketch. Now another gotcha with polygons is if I right-click here and where they overlap, it's going to grab the original feature, and I don't want that. So I have to get it where they don't overlap. And if you can't find somewhere where they don't overlap, you can just turn off that original layer, use the Replace Polygon tool, and then Replace Sketch. I hope that really helped you out. If it did,
Go down and chop that like button for me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. That would help me out a lot. And leave a comment. Another way you can support the channel is there's a link in the description and you can go follow that link and buy me a do. Or sign up for an interview. I'm doing some interviews for a project I'm involved in. If you'd like to give me an hour of your time where we can chat, that'd be great. We'll see you next time.